Hey guys, I'm Joe Beretta. Hi, I'm Elliot Morgan. Let's get our learn on. Yeah, let's tickle your thinkers with some learn stuff. Learn, learn jump! <laughs> Currently, right now, as we speak, the largest fish swimming around in the deep dark ocean is the friggin' adorable whale shark. So cute. With its big adorable mouth and stuff. The largest confirmed specimen was 41.5 feet long. That's big. Like three times bigger than a great white big. Yeah, that's big. But it's not big enough to usurp the lead sickness problematicus, the largest known fish ever. It's Rhydicus. Anoicus. Okay, cuz. More than 160 million years ago, the lead sickness problematicus reigned supreme in Jurassic waters. And took up a lot of space. It could grow to over 54 feet in length. A 54 foot Fish. That's this much times 54. That's equivalent to a 54 foot fish. Move your adorable fish butt over, whale shark. I would let, I'd let that whale shark just mouth my body. It looks very comfortable. Up until now, researchers were only able to speculate on the fishy length due to incomplete fossils, but the recent discovery of almost completely intact remains confirmed their aquatic conjectures. And like many scientific discoveries, this knowledge comes to light after a super scientific, well thought out accident. Professor Liston of the National Museums of Scotland and part of the discovery team said two students were working on a geology project in the quarry when they noticed pieces of bone sticking out of the rocks. It turned out to be fossil pieces of lead sickness. A real breakthrough. The students, who are totally getting A's this semester, made their discovery in Peterborough, Cambridgeshire, and Professor Liston and friends are titillated by this big ass fish because it shows that while dinosaurs were experiencing gigantism or excessive growth on land, sea breathers were undergoing similar changes. So on land, it was all like rawr and chomp, and under the sea, this guy would sweep up schools of plankton with its mouth and they'd get caught in a mesh net on its gills. So cool, until it was wiped out by the same thing that wiped out the dinos. Whatever. Goodbye, Shark Week. Hello, Lead Sickness Problematicus Week. Stay tuned. So if you could name any ancient creature after yourself, what would it be? Let us know in the comment section that is located in the southern hemisphere of this video. Click the sanitation. It's going to bring you to our five daily stories. My name's Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. Walk out with me. It's cool. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, shit. Uh, that's the platform. <laughs>